the other extremist groups like the Muslim Brotherhood who are friends with the IRGC and Hezbollahi people, people, they cannot operate in Bahrain, in Oman. These are Muslim countries. Where do they operate? In London, in France, in Washington, Washington DC, in Australia, in Canada, Toronto. They operate here. They have bank accounts. They register charity. Right. So Macron, the president of France, recently said the Islamic world is in a crisis. I say, no, you are in a crisis. You went to the Muslim countries and you imported the garbage that the Muslim countries wanted to put in prison or isolate away from society. You went and you imported them. Why? For cheap labor. But these Islamist extremists, they don't want to work. They want free welfare. They want to marry French women, blonde hair, blue eyes. They don't have time to work. So look at Poland. They don't complain from Islamic extremism, not a single terrorist attack in Poland. The moment they sense there's a problem, they crack down on it. Polish policy, beautiful. The French, no, come. When they come, they use the resources. They go to uh, Washington, D.C., and they sit in Congress. They support the Iranian regime. They go against the sanctions in Congress, right, with their hijab. Why? Because the ideology is filth to begin with. When you import that, or you allow it in, or you amplify it, or you glorify it in any way, you make your bed, sleep in it. So that is also a problem of the West. The question is, Tina, did the extremists become stronger or the West become weaker? I say it's both. 